Welcome back to the Expanded Minds podcast. Today, I got a special guest with me. His name is Damien. How are you doing today? I'm good, man. Thank you for having me, bro. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you guys. It's a pleasure being here. Would you like to introduce yourself to people who don't know who you are? Yeah, I was called a uh, uh, LA-based artist of all sorts of genres and, and walks of life. Uh, you know, filmmaker going to going to school right now for for a film, and uh, been making music for the past two or three years now, like consistently. So you know, just besides being a, an artist, uh, I'm a lover, a fighter, and. Uh, Contributor to society. <laughs> with your with your creative genius, of course. Oh yes, of course. Yeah. Well, I can remember like, and the reason why like I invited you on too is because so I went up with Micah to Santa Cruz, and for people who don't know who Micah is, we did I think it's podcast number three, still in some action. That's who Micah is, and I went up to Santa Cruz because he's up in university right now, and uh, yeah, you know, we're, gonna be, we're gonna be heading back tomorrow. So. You gotta see the banana slugs, man. Yeah, yeah, rapid. So we went to go see Dan's. What was it called? Open mic? Uh, it was an open mic at Stevens and College. It's just one of the mini colleges at, at Santa Cruz. So yeah, just yeah. had an open mic night. And uh, it, Zeke came through for the, yeah. for the homies for the one time over the weekend and got to see us perform for one of like, the first times. So I was, I appreciate you coming, honestly, so much. Cause like, you know, yeah. we just started to get a little bit more of a crowd, you know, and like they kind of knew us a little bit more. So we were actually able to like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't new faces, you know what like, I mean? Like going back though, like kind of re- going back, like, so I went with Mike and, and he told us about like Dan, who's on the second podcast, mm-hmm. Dan and Kim, because he had been producing beats and stuff and, you know, Kim's contact with him. Uh, you know, he said, hey, there's a talent show, you know, some guy named Damien's going to be there and I would tell me like you freestyle pretty well, so I was like, that's pretty interesting. We were actually like freestyling on the way like up to Santa Cruz. No so, way. Yeah. He was like, he was like, bro, like David inspired me so much like freestyling. Michael was like hyping you up on the way there, and then we were trying to freestyle like on a beat during the. So I know just how hard it is like do kind of a freestyle. So no one we, ever wants to start, but hey, you at least put it, it in. Man. Yeah, you know it's, it's a, it was a big start for me because I was like trying to explore different ideas, but I just couldn't get my. Like so, so present to like, yeah. Those ideas, but let me uh, finish the story though. Like, of you know, uh, the open mic. I forgot what the, the beat. You guys were playing with like a instruments and everything. Like it was everything was just all organic, right? Like, yeah. What, what was like? I was like, I'm trying to remember what we actually performed when we were there. Um, we'll we'll, but, put, we'll put a video clip of the performance. And you guys will see it. But he. Damien went off on that freestyle. Like <laughs> it was like everybody, and you could see in the video that, and we'll put it up there. Like people were just like vibing to it. Oh, wow, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna take this a little bit slower. Let's go through this part. All right. What you take? What you take? Let me 
This seeing like how you're how you're just full voice and everything like that over you know guitars, bass, and it's kind of it's different in that sense. Like I don't I don't think I've ever heard from my own personal experience. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever heard too many people freestyle over like just guitar, you know, bass, just like a yeah, double just like, like band or whatever. Yeah, because so we, we love cool. jamming. You know what I mean? Like you can fucking hear it all over the place. It's like jam, jam. But it's like that's like my favorite thing that. Uh, so like Dan or like like to do, and I remember the first time that we actually like did that open mic. Dan like we we're like we didn't know what we we're gonna play. Like we had a couple like ideas and like maybe a couple songs for a set list, but we're like you know we'll, we'll wait and see what you know what the what the crowd's feeling when we actually are able to get on. Um, so so how, how do you tell what the so when you're open to performing stuff like that, how are you able to tell like what the crowd is feeling and like how did you play into you know. The whole setting and things like that. Yeah, not. I mean, it's just like it's an open like venue, so it's like outside. You know, you've been there, but you know, for those who don't know, like, uh, and just a bunch of people crowd around seating, and you know, in the back, and like a promenade. Uh, and I don't know. It's just like all different sorts of walks of life. You know what I mean? It's Santa Cruz doing whatever kind of thing for their open mic. Some people do spoken word and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But like, we wanted to go there and have a good time. You know what I mean? And like, be able to like show people some like. Really good music and like you know just just be there and show up but well the main thing was like i was like dan just like we don't have to do anything just whatever you feel is right just let me know how you're feeling and what you think that we can we can do and literally like when we were practicing before just to like have some fun he showed me a, a random beat like and was just like hey like how you know what i mean like do you like this like maybe we should make something like this you know it's a good idea and when we got there i was just like waiting and watching and he, he literally goes like up to me randomly and says like hey i want you to go we're gonna play that beat and i just want you to freestyle you know and just just do it like it, it was very like kind of katronada like thundercat kind of vibes so very like kind of like dance all a little bit um and we we're just like i was just like i don't know man we have prepared material like we should do that and he's like no like trust me like it feels right like no one's really doing any upbeat or like anything everything was doing like acoustic guitar like i said spoken word and stuff like that yeah, it was so like campfire like, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah like campfire with a little sparkly lights and everything you know it's all cutesy and then they were just like bro like let's just get people going you know what i mean like that freaking thing in a and but yes, glory, but yeah, and like, did it. yeah, people got up, started dancing, and you know, it's like, yeah, and the freestyling part of it, like, I just zoned out, you know what I mean? That's like kind of what happens, you just kind of like zone out and you kind of feel the music, you know, based sure. on the music, but um, yeah, dude, it's just like that was really it, it kind of you just kind of got to read the room, you know what I mean? If people are like kind of sitting there and holding, just talking to people, like, give them something to listen to. You know what I mean? That's really like, it's not about necessarily you in that moment. It's kind of like how you can allow other people to just vibe, for, a, for right. a lack of a better word. You know what I mean? Just like get into a groove and like set the tone. You know? So like, how are you playing out? Like what I'm curious about is like, how do you play off of words? So like you'll take an idea and like, so in one of your songs, I remember like you were, you kept playing off a certain like chorus mm -hmm. and you, you would, there was a certain chorus wow. that you were saying, and you'd go like this direction, but then you'd always bring it back to like the chorus. So like, how do you bounce off of the words and like bring it back and like stay kind of yeah ruins with like what you're saying and not necessarily and like lose track, you know? Yeah, yeah. lose track all the way. You know, how, how, I think that makes a difference between someone who's good at freestyling versus like you know sometimes. Yeah, like I mean, you could just say whatever, but not remember anything you just said. Yeah, you know? and it's, it's a little bit loose in that sense where you're just like yeah. You know, here, 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 and not really destination. Yeah, point, so. yeah. No, and I like for that too. It's like I mean, I kind of just on that one. Like I'm gonna be real. Like I just thought of it. I said it, and I just it's it's like how I do it with like the rest of my music. It's like if I really love that like simple thing that you can just identify with, you don't have to think about it. And like my other producer, um, 
he always mentions like the chorus, I look at how you're supposed to feel. And like the verse is like telling you why or like where you are in the song. You know what I mean? But like with that, I was just a lot of stuff I just like recently gone down to and like I just really wanted to play off of that. If I'm not mistaken on what video it was, um, it was just like about letting people feel good. You know what I mean? Like not really worrying about what you're saying or what you're doing and just kind of like literally like how I wanted the people to feel like just be free to fucking hang out and enjoy your time and not just be like talking during the whole thing you know what I mean or having to be super quiet because someone just decided to pour their heart and soul <laughs> into like some like you know what I mean like obviously it's beautiful and it's appreciated but like you know it's like you're you're hearing it versus listening you know what I mean? Or like, you can actually participate a little bit because it's like everyone just wants to get up and move, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they want to want to be have fun with it. And like, that was the biggest thing that me and Dan wanted to like make a principle of like, start making music and start saying stuff and what we're actually doing to like translate to on stage. Because like, if you're, if there's a disconnect between there, it's gonna be obvious, right? But like you, you know. You can tell me if I'm wrong, but like I felt like on that one at least it was like I might be slipping off what I'm saying, but if you trust me enough to get there, you know what I mean? I'll like I'll take you to where I need to go, you know, where you need to go. So it's like yeah. that's just what I appreciate in music. It's like if you're in good hands and you can tell, you know, people are actually responding to it, then it's like, okay, I'm doing something right. I'm not. I'm not just doing this for me or like just so that this band can play. It's like it's for the people that are here, you know. So like are you are you noticed? So do you how much do you rely on like the audience's energy, like in terms of like being being able to get yourself going and into mm -hmm. like going into a beat or something like that? Like I mean like I always see. have I always have like butterflies and stuff, you know what I mean, before, but like the only thing that counteracts that is like knowing that I can't I can't rely on the crowd for the energy. I have to be the one who's giving the energy. So that, you know what I mean? It's like, if I'm able to give 110% of what I'm doing, even if it's shitty, like someone else will be able to appreciate that because they're, they can, they can give a little bit easier. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, he's just acting the fool. It's cool. You know what I mean? Like, it's all good. You know, it's like, no one's gonna, everyone can relax and just chill, you know? But I don't know if that answers yeah, so like what gives you the inspiration and the ability to like carry energy like that? Like where do you draw your inspiration from when you're so that the audience can like feed into it? I think so that you're giving to people like you know what they need in that certain moment. Yeah, I mean I think it's it's obviously comes from like personal things, you know what I mean? Or just like things that are going on in time. Like um I always try to draw a little bit from like personal experience and incorporate it into the work try not to do it too much i think it's really just about like things that i don't know it's like things that, that i can't really fully it's like what we were talking about before where it's like things you can't necessarily explain fully but like it's something that's like it's a feeling that i'm getting and i have to like it's like matching words to that if it's like if what i'm saying is like along the lines of that feeling and you can like you know what I mean? Not hold it, but like let it let yeah. it flow. You know what I mean? It's like you can. It's without judgment. It's just letting it go, and like obviously sometimes you can hit a fucking wall. You know what I mean? Even okay. in that performance, I probably at one one point or another was like, "Oh, what am I gonna say next?" But then like the way you check yourself is just like you're probably the only one who's overthinking it. You know what I mean? It's like there's. There's freaking 30 people in front of you, five people, whatever, you know what I mean? It's like, if they're, they're hanging out and they're not, like listening and stuff, like just, just come back home, you know what I mean? Center yourself. That was the, that's the main thing is just kind of like being focused and centered, but like not fixing yourself to one point or like what you want to do or what you want to say. It's kind of like allow what you're feeling and stuff to naturally come out as soon as you like you know think about it or you know what i mean for the chorus like last time was just like i want to get you higher 
I want to like be able to like at a certain moment, like it doesn't matter what's going down. We can still take it the next step. You know what I mean? And like that's always like that's always like the mantra of like me and Dan just make that a little bit by being able to like just take it a step further than what we've already been doing or like expand the boundaries a lot. That's all always what Dan's talking. Expand the boundaries in whatever way possible. Like we're doing good, but we can always like push it another, another level. You know what I mean? Expand the boundaries, expand the mind. Yeah, expand the mind. Exactly, exactly. So, so like you talked about like getting stuck in a certain, especially when I try to at least do free song, I would notice myself like getting stuck on a certain thing, and then I just completely like mm -hmm. lose center like that. Hundreds. Like, that happens all the time. Even like I. When I first started freestyling, my brother got me into it. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Yeah, let's talk about like how I get got into it too. Yeah, what's it called? I used to, my brother was the, really the one, he's like four years older than me. So when I was in like eighth grade or whatever, he just graduated from college or in high school. And so him and his friends would always be like freestyling, messing around, making some random song to put on SoundCloud and then doing whatever, joking around. But he would always like, when we're bored, just hanging out at the house, would always like, I just be chilling by myself. It's like, oh my God. But it puts on a beat from like Mob Deep or something, you know what I mean? Just some absurdly like freaking hard ass looking beat. And you're like, just I couldn't take it seriously, you know? Because you just be like, say one word, bro. Just say two <laughs> words that rhyme, bro. You can say cat in the hat, bro. It's okay. You know what I mean? But like that was the biggest thing where like, don't judge yourself about what you're saying. Because everyone knows that, like, if you're even able to string it together, that's fucking beautiful. You know what I mean? That's cool. But, like, for the most part, especially when you're doing it with friends, or like, you know how you're saying, it's like, you just got to not take yourself so seriously all the time. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. not, but what really, like, got me into it was, like, I started in like high school or whatever when I, like after my brother would actually got me to do that and I'd say a couple sentences, you know what I mean? And then be like, fuck this shit, let's go do something else. <laughs> like he would we would just got to a point where like I remember we were in the back room in my house where my brother my brother's room is and he uh we would just literally like look through beats or beats. YouTube, but, right? yeah, YouTube, Channel. SoundCloud, Spotify, really anything we can get our fucking hands on. Because it's like, oh, there's an instrumental, this dope classic song we always like listen to with my dad and shit, or like that we he showed me when I was a kid. You know, like that's that's what we would do all the time. It was like the way that we passed time. That was really practice, bro. It's all practice, even if it's not like if it's not the best thing. You'll you know, you can automatically see yourself be a better freestyling. Even like a, it's the same thing as like piano or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it, you might suck at first and it takes you a little while to string it together and it doesn't sound like a cool thing, but if you keep playing with the rhythm, you know what I mean? And like doing different things and not staying on one thing, you know? Like there's a, there's a strong side to actually being able to like do one thing better than anyone else, obviously. But it's like if you're able to like navigate on any other uh whatever platform i guess you could say just like a different you know mapping out of it all like you're just easier you know what i mean and it's funny because you, you don't have to be serious you just say whatever the fuck is, is going down and like fucking people find think it's funny and so be it but yeah yeah like what about you bro like did you like what were you guys doing like were you just like bro, going up on the on the drive it's embarrassing uh, to me it was embarrassing but um <laughs> So we, we, we looked up something type B or whatever, like, yeah, like, like you know, podcast different yeah, podcast type B. We looked up like different artists, like you know, Drake type B or like yeah. Kodak type B or whatever. Okay. And you know, we find a beat that we kind of were feeling. Mm -hmm. And then we, we I would throw on a topic like as we're driving, you know, we'd see maybe like green topics. We like see like a green field or like and so okay, let's keep the topic along the lines of green field or yeah. you know, meditation was one of them I remember. Uh, he's like, like, like I, mean, I want to get expansive right now. I want to. Yeah. I want to free my mind on this. Beat. But so yeah, we're doing that. Mm -hmm. I would. I would say like, see, when I would get into it, I would say like one good line, and then everything else would be like shit or crap. Mm -hmm. I keep my language yeah. PG, but yeah, everything yeah, would be no. crap. So, but um, you always fill it with one curse word if you find your favorite one. Yeah. You know, 
you could probably, I'm, I'm just going to give it away. I say another movie. Sorry, actually, I uh, bleep that one out uh, all the time. Like, it's not okay. It's just way too many syllables. <laughs> like, yeah. I can think of it. It's, it's the whole thing where you're like, you're trying not to add filler, but you're always going to add filler to some degree unless you really, like, set up punch lining. You know? What was, what was, what's your filler? That's, that's just, that one. That, yeah, that like, one? it's just like, I'd say, like, just a word like that. Like, you know, there's a word or like, uh, like, what is the, I always say like, just some random word that come, always comes out and it messes up the whole flow, but it's like, rerouting. You're like, wait, what, what, what did I just say? You know what I mean? Like, how do I even, what do I, you know what I mean? It's like. Well, have, you, have you ever come back from that though? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Like, Pushing the boundaries. Yeah, now. yeah. Like, it's like, cause then you like, you take your your weaknesses and make them your strength. You know what I mean? Where like if you happen to follow that, you're like, oh, I got a whole tool belt of like things that I can talk about that is just right off. Of that. You know what I mean? And it's, then it's not filler. Then it's like it's more of a motif, I guess you could say. You know what I mean? So how are you able to like take your range of feeling? Like because it seems like not like when you freestyle, you have to have like a certain range of feeling into things. So you go from like I don't know, going very deeply on the personal stuff mm -hmm. versus getting certain ideas that you can be passionate about and also just or certain experiences that you've gone deep in and just say it with such conviction. So like, mm -hmm. how have you seen like the way that you freestyle like and the really like, feel things that like, progress and things like that? I think it was a lot of like, it always stems from the personal, you know what I mean? And like what I feel like rings true to me or like I can actually talk about my own experience because it's like, Bro, as like a as a rapper, like even just saying I'm a rapper to some people, it's just like it makes me irk. Like I know what I am, you know what I mean? I know that I can rap, I'm an artist, musician, whatever. But it's like if I feel like I can just honestly talk about anything and not be like I said, like not judging it myself. Like obviously I have my opinions about whatever it be, but like I would before it would just be like just trying to rhyme i'm trying to make it okay you know what i mean like it's like trying to space it out so i don't sound stupid you know what i mean but it's like as soon as you stop like worrying about that what people are kind of like thinking about it at the time it's like it was always just being able to say it with full confidence and not trying to be someone else you know what i mean it's like not not trying anything you know what i mean it's like doing it you know what i mean like what do you got on your head like i can talk about it you know what i mean and if you have nothing on your head like what do you believe in you know what i mean like what what is like something a part of you that like yes it can change and you know what i mean it's not like stuck in stone but like what are the things that you feel like define you you know what i mean or that like right now is more real than like what you want to hear you know what i mean it's like it's like you gotta just i don't know i don't know how to like answer that fully but it's like even with the just being able to say something with conviction you know what i mean because it's yeah. all about like i don't know i don't like again like, yeah, i'm not really a person to like speak of it like i'm an expert but it's like I've been doing it long enough to be able to say, like, it's really just, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. And obviously, you don't want to be saying some bull, you know what I mean? Because, you know, who's going to be listening if you're just talking nonsense, you know? You can be the best rapper and not, like, make good music, you know what I mean? But, like, at that point, it's like, okay, I can, I can say anything I want right now. And that's like a free thought and like i don't have to like i don't have to play into the game or like i don't even have to talk about myself i could just i could talk about what's going down on the street that i just yeah. saw like like all the, you know all what the I mean? people and you know, all the scooters and all the bikes and yeah, just <laughs> random you know what i mean like it's all because it's all like it's all things that someone can identify with and make sense out of and have a good time with but that's the that's the main thing i'm just like right now i'm just trying to make music and like everything i do is like Something that people can have like a good time to, regardless of it's actually like getting you up and going and around. Like 
I want to be able to like embody that a little bit more, but that's just with like living, you know what I mean? And like actually like checking yourself outside of like music or passion. I don't know. But that's why I, I just really want to make music that just people would enjoy, you know what I mean? In whatever facet that may be. It's just like there's a song that'll help you at some point to get through whatever, or that'll enhance an experience. And like that's what I've been trying to like take enhancing the experience and being able to translate it instead of just like I got bars, mom. <laughs> it's like but I know, but like, you know, like what you what you do, bro? Like you can talk all the shit you want. Gotta, you just gotta make sure that you're doing the best for you. Mm-hmm. I don't know, kind of went on a tangent, but that's cool. Yeah. And I like what you said about like how you're through music, you're able to enhance someone's experience. So, like, what songs of yours that you've done put out, and also like probably put a little clip of it as mm-hmm. before you talk about or say the song name? Uh, have you felt like it's very enhancing for somebody, or like it will help them out? Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll express certain things that they'll like. Like I, I haven't really put out a lot of music right now. It's all kind of like in, in the works, I guess. Self-reference. Yeah, yeah self reference my, my own thing. That's funny. Um, but there's a song called um, uh, "Working Title" right now is "Lights On," and uh, it's more of on the lovey dovey side of my stuff. A little bit more melodic and not uh, not just the raps. And the, the hip hop that you know we all back in the studio and stuff like love to make, but it's like that one is a, a close one for me. Leave me floating, worry, sing next scene. I could give another reason. reason. I promise, love, I started singing, but I should listen to you more. Leave me floating, worry, sing next scene. I could give another reason. I promise, love, I started seeing. And I should listen to you more. Leave me floating where it seems, nigga. And I could give another reason. I promise, love, I started seeing. And I should listen listen to you. Different, man. Yeah. Um, Like, just this one, like. The first thing I ever released on SoundCloud is very, very probably would say that's the no one, nobody, you know, dot one, dot nobody. Um, What's the one you showed me when we were in the car? Like, we don't really live in San Francisco, we went for a Yeah, high. What yeah. Was that one? That was the one that one's called Messy. That will be coming out on a, a project uh, called Moonlight Ransom that I've been working on for the past, like, year or so. It was going to be an album, but we did, like, a deep cut, and now it's, like, a five, like, Five EP, you know what I mean? Five track EP. Yeah. But that one's good. That was the last one on there. Like, yeah, that was kind of the whole thing. I got down to the dumps trying to like make music that I felt was true and like explore you know what I mean? And like uh, expand my ability and like craft and doing it. But like the song that I just posted called Lights On, um, is really all about like listening to the better half of yourself and like whether that be someone else whether that be you whether that just be like a better outlook that you're having at a certain moment it's just like being able to like know that that's what you should listen to i guess you know what i mean rather than like you can listen to anyone anything you want. but it's like for me personally i just there's a there's a clear distinction for me when like what you're doing is honest or not and it's like even if like too much honesty is a thing you know what i mean where it's like you don't need to tell everyone you don't need to give everyone everything you know what i mean you can have that solace within yourself to know who you are know what you're making and stuff but lights on is more of like i remember it was beautiful i showed that to like a couple of friends um the backyard of my homie's house in Santa Cruz. And I played that song and like it started to rain. Like like almost like right when I played it. And it was like, oh I feel like I'm in a movie. You know what I mean? But like but like at the same time, like it was just the notebook. 
Yeah, yeah, because like, oh god, um, just like usually, you know, I show people stuff like that, and it's like, I, you know, not that I'm looking for reaction, but I'm like, I'm seeing how you take it. You know what I mean? And like, if you're acting like it, it gets you excited. So you like, it makes you more of a contemplative state. Because like, for me, it's always kind of a little bit more of a contemplative state, and I try to get more in it. You know what I mean? And like, be honest with how you even taking the music. You know know what's good or not but i showed like the most random walks of life like options of people like total different tastes of music backgrounds and majors or whatever and this ain't just college rap no i'm just kidding uh what was it called they just were all like just sitting there and just like kind of like taking it in and like we're literally just sitting outside in the rain listening to the song and everyone was chill with it like everyone was cool bro i was like i was like so guess like guessing myself or saying like you guys want to go inside or you know what i mean like but everyone was just like fuck with it you know what i mean and i was like you know like not judging it any more than that i was like shit someone could be in the worst part of their day and fucking stuck in some bullshit excuse my language but no, that's fine it's fine now. I think I think for YouTube, I think it's like you have to get a past certain time mark and then mm -hmm. like customs okay. Oh, you okay. don't get like the or something. I see you. I see you. So, okay. Yeah, I'll just try to cut out the bad ones. But uh yeah. uh yeah, just like I, I, I could I saw I saw how it was able to just like uplift someone on like a very small level. You know what I mean even? Like just just wanting to kind of like lose yourself in it. And that's okay. Yeah, I never, I never thought that that would be like something that like I made music and people would be like, I don't know. I, I consider it like if you can really like step out of yourself, where it's just kind of like you can be in a song. You have like a, I guess you could say kind of like an out of body experience, or just kind of like a, like a, you could take a step back and not really be like so aware of your what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's that's great music. So it's like. Or it makes you feel something, reminds you of time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't know. I yeah, think, I think this new one, check out Lights Out, Lights On, uh, on SoundCloud right now. Maybe on all platforms soon enough. Yeah, I'll we'll see what's up. Out soon. I'll see what's up. But, uh, well, yeah. Yeah, music definitely makes you more receptive and like being able mm -hmm. to like pull emotion on somebody is definitely a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. When you go like into a state of contemplation, um, is that where you get the out of body feeling, or is that more of like something that you feel like grounds people, or is it like I think how do you play with certain like feelings in terms of yeah you know, when it comes to songs like how is it like yeah, yeah it's all it's it's all kind of like it's all bringing the fact that like it's okay to feel however you're feeling you know what I mean and like if I'm feeling sad on a day or make a sad sounding song that's composed in some way that like you know what I mean or a lot of a lot of you know sad things have happened in the past couple of years that kind of like a lot of my friends and I, I included, have like tried to at some points a little too much use music as a way to to understand what's going on. You know what I mean with things that can't really even be explained. It's like. Right now we come to a point where it's like you have to take care of yourself first, be able to like sit with whatever you're doing and you know what I mean, do that. But I really just wanted to be like okay. Not that I wanted to be okay, like for what this is, but more like that there's a separation between me and my music. Not like that there's like like you can't see me in it, but it's like I don't know, it's what they like. I remember seeing like a T Grizzly or something, like random ass interview. And he was just saying, like, he, like the homie, he got out of prison. I mean, it was like, you really like, yeah. you, you got crazy stuff, but like, none of what you're saying is gonna be like, I know what you're meaning, but no one else is, because like, they're not from here, you know what I mean? It's like, he was just like, you know, I get what you mean, the homie's saying that to me, but it's like, like, if no one knows who you are, how are they going to understand this? You know what and I mean? What song are you referencing? So that... Right now, I'm actually kind of even talking about Lights On. But like, I originally thought it was going to be like more of a side of like, ah, uh, like, 
if you don't know me or you don't know what's going on, like you won't understand the context. Kind of like how I showed you before I showed you Messi. And you're kind of like, I'm not sure necessarily what your main point was or like your main like take the takeaway from it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like the way I best felt like doing that is like to not not provide anyone with any like background. You know what I mean? Just like kind of like allowing it to be a shitty product if it is. You know what I mean? And like not that it's just a product, but it's like, oh, this is a part of me that if you're able to understand and just like enjoy it and not know anything about me or what the music or what I'm trying to do with it or like anything, then that's like, okay, I feel like you can, we can bridge any gap together. You know what I mean? Cause I like yeah. any person that I've like shown my music to or like I've really been um, upfront about making music and talk to about, uh, it's like some people that like some people that don't know me as well, but it's like I feel like I've I've gained closer relationships by even being able to like talk about my music or like talk about people's creative processes together. Even just like this, like <laughs> being able to meet you in Santa Cruz and then you know on a hike just be playing you like some beats or whatever, yeah, and you're being like, "Oh, these are you!" Like you know what I mean? I'm just like I'm not. It's not like showing off or whatever. It's just like. It's just natural, you know what I mean? It's like that's the natural like side of things is what, I, is what I'm hoping to be able to give to people. I'm giving that to myself right now and I'm cultivating, you know, growth and self-respect and everything I need to do to, you know, get the, get the bell rung. But on the way there, I want to be able to like say hi to everybody. The, big, the main thing is right there is like, that's the main thing of like, if, especially it's for the people that know me is like, if you have if you haven't heard from me in a while i'm a lot different than i used to be even though i'm a lot very similar in some aspects it's like if i if you were like the only way that you could contact me or even like hear from me is through my music if you can't get a hold of me whatever i'm doing whatever on the daily i can always like having to do something else but it's like if you can at least just like hear a song on my you'd be able to know how i'm doing or at least like a part of me that is always with you you know what i mean it's like yeah then it doesn't matter it's like something more than music it's like we can build a relationship together and the same thing goes with the performances you know like when you when you came i'm not sure if it was right before or right after oh no it was right before wasn't it like um my dad passed like i'm pretty sure it was like that weekend i'm pretty sure like after he came through and i had to go back and hear and like but like I knew that stuff was like not going so well, you know. What I mean, but like being able to go up there, and albeit it wasn't maybe uh, in that best of a mindset at the time, and not handling it as proactively and as well as I should have been, I was at least able to like know that what I'm doing is all right, and we're gonna be able to like fix it in time. But right now we can have a good time. We can grow closer together as people and then you know what i mean we'll, we'll get to the we'll get to the stuff that needs to be get to you know what I mean? like mm -hmm. just to like reify kind of like what i'm saying i guess but yeah i can't tell you how much i appreciate you coming through by the by the way or even like listening to the music when we went to garden of eden or whatever yeah. just like you're like you heard daily and you're like, Dang, you know? like yeah, this is my favorite right? well, like, well, you play guitar right no i mean i'm not really I mean, I could play a couple of chords, and that's like humble. Oh, I was like, yeah. I don't feel like I know how to play back in black. Or, hey, that's really like funny. stairway to heaven, baby. Okay. Okay. I'm not that one, dude. Um, you Because uh, what I like doing is, that, I mean, especially like doing a podcast, right? It's like you have there's certain levels to it, and it's like seeing yourself grow and seeing someone on their journey of like improving mm -hmm. their own craft, like podcasting. Like you can see how. I, you can look at my old videos compared yeah, to like, and now it's like it's definitely different. And it was, yeah. it was really cool to see like your different songs and like see like different you know fluctuations in your growth and how you express yourself and things like that. Yeah, so, like when people show me their their passions and things like that, and I'm able to kind of evaluate it. I like to get a sense of like, okay, does this thing have potential? Like, is there a spark there? And mm -hmm. I think for like a couple of songs, I felt that. And so, yeah, you like felt that thing. No. I 
High praise. It was, it was High like praise. when we were in the car, for example, like when you showed me that song, like we both felt the chills on the back. Like, this is this is up there. There's like gave some, me shoes right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's, there's like some obviously that wasn't there, and there's some that was, and it's like mm-hmm. kind of having the honesty with yourself, like, yeah. hey, does this thing have potential? Like this is how, like for podcasting, for example, it's like, yeah, you know, I still look at my work honestly, especially with this craft. Like mm-hmm. I never. I always have this mindset where I'm not the best at it for some reason. I feel you, yeah, yeah. There's always someone better at whatever someone does. Not that someone's better, it's just I don't think I'm the best at it. I just do it because I feel like having conversations around different topics that people can listen to and tune into is beneficial for other people. Yeah, yeah, yeah 100%. I was going to say the same thing. Like it's if you, if you just want to be able to have a conversation with someone, Expand, expand your mind. You know what I mean? Like, like you can say it's cheesy or whatever, bro. But it's like it's it's more than a lot of people would do. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? And like it's it's I personally I always you know I think podcasts for me I don't listen to podcasts a whole lot. You know what I mean? Like I, I tune into some radio stations here and there. You know what I mean? Like, and, uh, watch the the breakfast club or the sway and all, all that crazy stuff. But uh, like hearing you do this and like getting to like see the progression, like seeing Dan in the like second or so video versus like one of your like last ones on Zoom. You know what I mean? And like mm-hmm. how even just like even in a separate place, you're able to bridge a gap with someone just over like common understanding. You know, and which is not very common, I guess. Talk. You know what I mean? It's like, it's cool that, like, I don't know, I just appreciate that, like, freedom of speech. Freedom of speech. Uh, yeah, go, let's go, creators I everywhere. Put a US flag back there. Put a plan or something. But, um. <laughs> Run into some problems somehow. That yeah. Beautiful. Someone's gonna complain about that. Yeah. But, um. <laughs> As an artist, like, how have you seen yourself like progress? Where have you found moments of have motivation? Like, you're you're on fire. Like, seeing you on that stage is definitely like you can see the fire on you. Yeah, you have that a spark that's already ignited inside of you. Like that feeling where you can just get up and just keep creating like that. Like, I think that's part of what being on fire is. It's just, yeah. you know, it's just keep going like that. So you're like, feeding your own flame at that point. Yeah. Yeah. So like, how have you kind of kept that flame alive throughout you know the process of making music, and how have you seen yourself progress? I say I had to rely on like a little too much of like what was going on at the time to like bring me inspiration or like like get me in the mood, you know what I mean? To like create or whatever. Because a lot of my stuff, like even since I was a kid, like a lot of it comes out of boredom. Like it's just like when I'm bored, I I would draw all the time. Just like kind of lose myself in that. It's kind of like that out of body, you know what I mean? That zone. Have you seen the movie Soul, dude? Shout out to Soul. When you get into the zone, man, it's another place. But like that was that was kind of what I realized was like you can really reach that point without any outside stimuli. You know what I mean? Like you don't need to like obviously it helps and there's like an anchor when you're like feeling feeling like you're actually adding to the flame, you know what I mean? I guess like keep that going. It's like I realized it was like it's it's way better for everyone else and you included when you just kind of leave the bullshit at the door and kind of and you know what I mean? Like come in with a fucking smile on your face, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. like it's like it's all good, but like we all know that everyone's got something going on, and you know what I mean? Whatever, even like with the with the that's where I kind of feel like I progressed as a little bit, even like performing and stuff because we didn't really get to perform a whole lot we've been doing that for like the last six months a year like a lot more but it was like okay like i have all this prepared stuff how about i just forget all that and like if i like if really it's like obviously it was a little bit of like testing on myself and you know it might have been a little bit not the smartest idea at times but it pays off you know what i mean like it's like losing your hard work pays off like if you can consistently bring yourself and like show yourself that you can do it, you know what I mean? Like a lot of the bullshit is just gonna fall back a lot easier, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? And like I feel just with practice and honesty and 
just good habits for yourself. You're actually able to like see like on the music side, just that you can obviously like see progression. Like you can see how good you are at playing a song on the piano a week ago versus now, or like a day ago versus now, a couple of, whatever it is. It's like very, you know, personal. But it's like it's kind of easier said than done on that, where it's like it's more abstracted when you're like going into yourself what's going on in the world or what you're going through or what you're grappling with, like, you know. And do, do you consider that a, a certain type of madness or do you think? I think it is, yeah. Like, I, But do you feel that way though? Like, do you? It's like, I think it's more self-associated than like what it actually is. You know what I mean? Because I feel like when it gets abstracted, it's a lot easier to get like lost with your head in the clouds. You know what I mean? You're just kind of like needle in a haystack. Kind of like mm. But like, knowing that like, I don't know, your feet are both planted on the ground, even if you're in a giant void of space and this giant rock is spinning, you want to get big with it, you know what I mean? You can, or like, you lost someone, or you, you're going through the ringer, or like, whatever you do is like something something else pops up or everything's going good. You know what I mean? And it's like, you're not even thinking about anything. It's like, it's so much easier when you just know that everyone is going through the same thing. You can just be, you could be okay. And you like, you know, sometimes you're not. And like, you have to like be honest with yourself and like, if you want to show that to people, you can, if not, that's okay. You know what I mean? But as a person, I guess, I feel like I've progressed in the way of like being able to distinct or like call myself out on my own bull. You know what I mean? And like, because it comes with the music side where you can really tell if you're progressing as a musician or like as a pianist or whatever. But it's all harder to tell if you're progressing as a human being when there's so much, you know what I mean? Or everyone else is doing what you're doing, it could always be another best person or you can just get down on yourself for not being like the best, you know, what you could be, you know what I mean? But like the only way that you're gonna battle that is just like by putting in the honesty, the, you know, good habits to build consistency and like, you know, progress. Cause it's like, that's all it's about. It's building good habits and getting things done when, when they need to be. So you're not worried about tomorrow. Yeah. That was the whole thing about music is just the grappling with is like a lot like I said earlier, a lot of the stuff that I make is like it's partially with a you know, little thing of, you know, realism or whatever happens to me. A lot of stuff is conceptual too. But it's like using that unexplained quality to about like whatever I'm facing, kinda of just to allow it to to be there. Not having to explain it. Or, you know, having to, like, defiantly figure it out. And it's, like, the song Messy. Like, you'll hear it when you do, if you do. But, like, yeah, it's, like it's all in somewhere. Yeah. It's all about just appreciating messiness. You know, it's not, like, you can build up walls and, you know what I mean, make things seem like they're all okay. Or, like, you can, you know what I mean? Or you just sound freaking sad all the time. And you're like, you're not sad all the time, but damn, bro, like every time you like look inside, you know what I mean? Like, no, nah, like it's it's a it's just what you like putting your focus on and like allowing yourself to feel. You know, if you're allowed to give yourself some space every once in a while, just just feel it all out, you know what I mean? It's it's probably a lot simpler to not get down on yourself. But you know. Everyone got their thing. Everyone got their thing. I just feel like with music, that's been the best thing to like really help me like check myself if I'm actually doing all right. Where I'm like, I'm doing something for a good reason, like intentions and such. Like even coming through here, like when you you called me, I was like, you know what I mean? Like I go out to Santa Cruz and like, a lot of stuff's been going down. I'm like I don't know. Like maybe we should just like take a second. And I was like, ah, like I'm gonna be here. I really don't have anything that I need to be doing right this second. And I like, I would fucking love to talk to you a little bit more and catch up and see how that's yeah, been. Yeah. So like, you know, just even getting to see you again and getting to kick with you. 
Yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't know if that answers your question again. But yes, we good. We good. You hit. There are some points within that extended answer where you, you already answered the question. So, um, but you talk about <laughs> in post, in post, in post. <laughs> but um, you talk about like feeling sort of out of body when you do music. Mm -hmm. I've never had even out of body experiences or any unexplainable experiences. Mm -hmm. You know that kind of open up your mind. Yeah, no, I mean, like, I mean, obviously, like, just starting off for one, like, it's easy. It's not, like, specifically out of body, but it's, like, when I'm up on stage or something like that. And besides one of them, like, one of them that I posted on my Instagram, whatever, like, all of them were just freestyles. It was, like, weird to do, but, like, at a certain point, like, I saw that, like, as I'm doing it, it was like it's weird. It's like it's like when you get lightheaded. It's like that's how I kind of feel. Like obviously I'm talking fast, whatever, doing whatever. So I might be puffing and puffing. But it's like when I was up on there, like I genuinely feel like everything else just like washes away. You know what I mean? It's like me, the band, and whoever's watching. It's like it doesn't matter where you are. You can be on the side of the street for a you know what I mean? But like, that, that real slim shady stuff, man. You, you feel the moment, you get a capture it, let it go, man. But no, no, it's like, it, it's really like, that's what I felt like uh, in the most simple way where I can feel like, it's not just about me, it's not just about this band, it's not just about these people. It's just like we're coming together and having an experience together. You know what I mean? We're feeding each other the energy, and it's not just like, I don't know, you just feel like a deeper connection with people at very least. You know what I mean? Because it's like, yeah, it's just, it's just as simple as that. But um, like, I'd say the sad body or like a, like a. Like in terms of also like mystical experiences or like yeah. something like lucid dreaming or anything like that. Like, yeah. Have you ever had any of that? Oh. I've seen it contribute to like the way that you think now or maybe do. Yeah. No. I, I I definitely have had a lot of that. There's there's been a lot of stuff that I've been exploring and like I put into my music. I'm just I didn't really put it in there. It just kind of came out. But <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. There's a lot of dreams. I'm like I have weird dreams a lot. Like when I do dream, it's like lucid or very like vivid and stuff like that um i've had that since i was like a kid but like the biggest mystical I, like kind of like experience and stuff like deja vu i guess like i had like a crazy deja vu maybe we'll get into it a little bit but it's like that was it like that the deja vu thing and like seeing stuff before it happens like that's when it's like you kind of like start thinking about like time, I guess, and like the way you got in a little bit in a different way. And that's where it kind of says you like the madness aspect where it kind of gets more abstracted. Like even the concept of time is just like you get abstracted into like however many ways. But like, it, it, it's weird, like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, hard, it's hard to bring it back home. Um, where like uh, there's a lot of music that I, um, you know, but certain music that focuses on like the loss of my sister or past after high school, um, or like my dad passing and like the losses that I've had and like seeing the brighter side of that or allowing it to be like just think about the implication that it has on like. And not to be cheesy, but like my soul, you know what I mean? Like, if there is, or you know what I mean? What, what would it be like when, when things go out, you know what I mean? And like... But did you ever see yourself in their shoes? Like, you know, they passed away, like, did you ever see yourself like, is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, no, 100%. And it's like, the best way that I can describe one of them is like, so I had a deja vu moment one time where I was like, I had a dream one day that my homie was at my pad 
My sister came through because I was just graduating. And she she came through from Texas. She lived there with my niece. Her and my niece come down. And uh, I just, I'm in my front room and I see like a bunch of homies. And just like, I remember being like, why is my homie Diego from high school here who's in my home room? You know what I mean? Just like, this is weird. You know what I mean? This is, I don't know how I feel about this. You know what I mean? But just like, okay, whatever. Skip to skip to a couple of days later, and just to keep the story a little bit shorter, it's just like I literally see like three things right after one another. I see my homie at my pad on grad night, going to Six Flags. Homie came over for the first time because he needed a ride to grad night. He's there. My sister is there, who's also in the dream. And then the third thing was a weird one, where I was like, my niece was playing in like the curtains. It's like in my, in my house, like there's like white drapes, but like kind of like see through floor almost. And I was like, saw her like playing in it, like literally weird, but like Marilyn Monroe, like weird fit, like, you know what I mean? She was like very like, cutesy. So like, <laughs> my, my niece is a wild time. She's, um, and so again, just seeing that, like, you know, I don't, I don't really dream a whole lot of like people that I know a lot. Like if it does, it's usually I remember. Yeah. All of that literally happened in the matter of seconds in the same place, same manner, same people. And like skipping a little bit, maybe the significance of it, um, was just seeing people pass away very shortly after that and like thinking about stuff with my music and like how how can i be of service in a way you know what i mean how can it just be more than just about me like whatever i'm going through you know what i mean because like if anything it's just like nothing's unusual everyone's been through god knows how many things for the past hour many years in time but like i figured this is a weird thing, but just like this is the thing that I want to put on my first like project is be able to talk about like what it's like when I'm going to be gone. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't, I try not to think about that too much anymore because I've gone down that rabbit hole. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, right. It's like it's it's a, it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like uh, the basically the little thing that I uh, is you know obviously appreciate time a little bit more, you know, celebrate life as much as you can, you know what I mean? But it's yeah. like, I figured like, if I, if they say like, when, you, when you're when you gone, you're outside of space and time, if you continue to go on, it's always up to debate, you know what I mean? But like, I've had a lot of weird experiences, including that, that just pointed towards like, all right, like, I don't know, someone else who's up there, I don't know for what reason, but the synchronicity or this coincidence is more than just what I'm making sense of it in my head. You know what I mean? It's like undeniably to people in a room would be seeing the same thing or thinking the same thing that happened, you know? And it's like, I don't know. I'm getting I'm on a tangent right now, so hopefully I'll be able to like, bring it back. Yeah, but bringing it, or like bringing it back a little bit too, it's like, when I mentioned mystical experiences, especially like their significance, whether if you're an artist or anybody, mm -hmm. like I think it's the whole process of deconstruction where it's like, yeah, like it it gives you like you've kind of mentioned earlier, like a, the ability to step back from something, and then you know, for example, if maybe you're thinking in a certain way, right, and you're like so focused on that certain thought, thought or way of doing something, mm -hmm. you know, you can lose sight of the other ways, of the other like ways you can go, like like when you're freestyling, for example, like. You have to be able to be flexible to feel this ring of emotion to that emotion. Yeah. And not be stuck in this ring. So like when you're experiencing not be you're, pigeonholed and go like Yeah, not be pigeonholed and oh. go like this. So like, you know, whenever especially I have a missile experience or maybe an out of body experience, every time I come out of it, I'm just like, I don't know, enough. Like Yeah, I, yeah, like, you're just humble instantly. Yeah. yeah like, it's like, you're just like, what? Okay. I, I thought about something in this way, but then all of a sudden, like, maybe it's an out of body experience and I did something in a certain place or did this, yeah this you have to you have to be able to extrapolate just enough 
so that it's makes sense, but it's like you're not you're not altering what you actually experienced or felt. You know what I mean? I'm yes, but I'm, I think I'm more talking about in terms of like, um, like when I get these experiences, oh. for example, like what do you call it? I'll be able to know. I'll know things and know how to do certain things, and I'll do it in a different way. And I'm like, I that was me. I did that. Like, mm -hmm. and then it, it like it opens up a new side of me where it's just like I never knew what was there. Yeah, it's like a, so it's like, a new door opening. Yeah, it's like you can just look at it in a different light. It's like, yeah, for me, I've always like it's always been how you said like how you associate or like what you attach to, and like giving yourself a little bit of detachment to be able to like. And I think that's been that's helped me as like to be able to do anything really or like as an artist or anything just been like taking a step back and being honest about like because it's, it's not a lot of people want to do that you know what I mean it's like it's easier just to like think about that one way you know but like yeah. definitely the out of body and like weird stuff that happen has made me think like how am I able to use my time now knowing even that like even with all these other ways of thinking and doing something trusting that that gut reaction to what you want to do but not necessarily acting on it right after you know what i mean it's like the whole like think before you speak type of thing like yeah it's like on freestyling and stuff like that it's like you're really not thinking i don't know it's like you're not not necessarily thinking how it's gonna all work but it's just allowing yourself to associate, detach, associate, detach. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like keep yourself in it, but out of it at the same time. You know what I mean? Just to like you can bounce back. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. We can, we can feel this way at any time. And it can be, you might not think about it, but it might make even more sense when it's contrasted with the complete opposite of what you're, what you're thinking yeah. you want to portray or give off on your ego side of thing. You know, like that was the whole thing of like my for the first project, just to like kind of hone it in, maybe a little of like we wanted to dedicate it more to my dad and like kind of like what he's taught me. And I always like while making these other music more melodic and stuff like that song. It was like like how can I just like say what I want to say, but like do it the way that I want to do it. You know, just like simple as that. You know what I mean? Like not try to do it a certain way. Like, like see where I've come from. And like, cause I always said it like, if my dad could listen to the music that I show, he's like, a, he's, a, he's a cello from Almani. I'm like, love, you know, NWA, freaking, you know, uh, Run DMC even, and like all those old, old stuff. Like he would, if, if I felt like if I could if I could make something that made sense to me and like also was in a way that if I, I knew if I showed it to him, I would be confident in it. You know what I mean? Regardless of what you know, obviously I would hope you like. You know what I mean? But it's like main point with that music, with that tape that I'm working on, it's it's about being able to feel good. It's about being able to feel good when you're not necessarily thinking all that good. You know what I mean? Like, because really, like, what, what's going to change your mindset at the end of the day is the actions you take and the way in which you, like, lead yourself. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. with that whole thing, if you realize, you know, it's just, it's just a little bit more you can do at any moment. I know it's like, you know, there's so much you can do and whatever, but, like, you really, you can do so much more. You know yeah. what I mean? And being okay with what you're doing and having it all, uh, having it all lined up isn't the most important thing. Like you can you can stay in that stasis of like abstraction, and then move. You know what I mean? It's not like you're having to go towards any one thing. You can, you just free yourself from the limitations you're gonna put in here in yourself. You know, just by allowing yourself to not. I don't know, just be so attached to one way of thinking or like knowing that you're right. You know, I'm a firm believer that we don't know Jack. You know what I mean? You can know a lot, you can be freaking well educated and, you know, whatever background, you know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, on the bigger things, we really don't know. We can just put our best foot forward and 
hope for the best. Yeah, I am like, yeah. But yeah, that's that's really what's been able to help me on like experiencing the mystical and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I want to touch back into like when you're talking about like going in and out of things because like, that's that's that at least for me that's why life sometimes can feel like a trip sometimes because you'll be so attached to something and then when you realize that you can easily detach from it and that it's a little bit more lucid or loose than usual, like for example, maybe I'll have like a certain thought in my head or a certain like projection that I want somebody. Mm-hmm. When I start to see it as a projection, it dissolves and then it opens up a new experience to me. Yeah, because it's and just then, you, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. you're almost just like projecting at your own will, in a way. Like, exactly. And but like when that happens though, it's, those were, that's, that's the sweet spot of like hitting mystical experiences for me at least, because it's like, I see certain things that I think are real, but they're not. And I, mm-hmm. some, when, I, when you let go of it, it bursts in you like more of your potential. Like, yeah, 100%. It's, it's always interesting to testing like yourself on what's really real, like in yeah. your head, like what's really real in your head. No, one million. And, like exploring different ideas in your head that are like, is this really real and feeling into it and, you know, having the courage to actually let it go if, it, if need be. Yeah, or like or, have that leap of faith to, you know what I mean, to get where you don't think you can go. You know what I mean? Or do that one thing that you're beating yourself up about. Or you know what I mean? Like I was lucky enough to have someone that like when I personally as a like a this was going through it really bad at a, at a certain point at the end of high school. And like literally was like questioning what was real, basically. Just to put it simply, it was just like all right, what's what's going down? I thought I had things figured out, you know. What I mean, I'm like, okay, you're throwing the curveball at me, and then I was like, all right, where is this? You know what I mean? I couldn't just get a hold of myself without panic attacks, stuff like that. Gotten way better now, but like, I was luckily able to have someone there to be like, like grounding, you know what I mean? And I know not everyone's like lucky enough to have that. But it's like. It's it's so good to know that like the simplest things of like just the love of someone else or like someone being there or someone saying hi, you know what I mean? Just the little things that like are really real because it's like where things all all really line up and how interconnected you are. It's like that's like the most beautiful thing to me that like helps me like stay true or like distinguish what's real and what's not i can have all these mystical experiences or you know and you know come to terms with it main thing obviously i would like say is like to get help for it you know what i mean like don't ever feel like you are on your own because everyone has felt probably everything that you've been feeling for a very long time you know what i mean although we're not able to figure it out we can do it together but like just trust in yourself to know that like not to be like say it's like it's all gonna be all right. It's all gonna be all right. You know what I mean? Like I feel that way. Like, yeah, it's like yeah. it's hard. It's like that hard thing of like just not hope, but it's like just trust. You know what I mean? Like to be able to get through something without not truly like getting a grip on it. You know what I mean? Like you can you can master an instrument or you can do whatever. Like, but it's still not gonna like. It's not the same. You can't like grab on a life like you can like a piano, you know, and you can play like beautifully. But it's like there's still gonna be a moment where you gotta like take your hand off and just like feel it, feel it a little bit instead of thinking about it all the time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That's a just a little bit back of the way that uh, that's helped to kind of like see me progress is like you know, calling out the BS is just like knowing that like the people in your relationships in your life are like the most real thing that you could ever have. And as much as you want, to like let all the outside influence or even their influence on you, like judge how you're actually doing or what you should do or, you know, what's expected of you. Cause like, I've like, for me, I'm the youngest of six kids. I'm not like, good amount of expectations on me for for a minute you know but it's like again just like you know not settling for less than what you deserve and like finding people 
that are gonna like see that too. Yeah. Like you, you know, like, and, like yeah, even just like being able to like freely talk about whatever and not really like play a play a game on how it's how it's done. You know, like that's what the whole thing of like making music is stuff like, you gotta play the game, you know what I mean? Like don't hate the player, hate the game, or whatever. Like it's always like Nah, bro, it's all about just making good relationships and like we don't have to we don't have to push anything bro we can just like just do us and like if, if, if people fuck with that that's cool if not it's cool too but like we're gonna fuck with it and that's all that matters at the end of the day you know so but yeah no like that was the yeah the big biggest thing I know like I might get a little off again but it's the biggest thing I'm thinking about, like, being mystical and stuff. Like, I had the feeling one time of, like, being outside of, like, time and space in a way. It's, like, kind of, like, I had this one lucid dream where I thought I was awake. It felt so real. I could remember all the little things about feeling parts of my body or, like, Couple under my feet and stuff like that, you know, almost like a fucking trip, you know, deep, deep trip or something. <laughs> like, uh, but then, like, st- still in a dream state, realizing that you're lucid dreaming, and then also like interacting with the world around you. You know what I mean? And maybe like I've lost a, like at a at a certain point up to the end of what happened. Like, I literally felt like it was just experience you know what i mean it was like awareness like i remember watching a video of the homie was talking about awareness and stuff like that and i was like it's exactly how it was you got to a state of like it's not necessarily like you're formulating thoughts or you do it like you're thinking and talking without doing one or the other you know what i mean it's weird it's like again that like was letting it flow type of feeling flow state um but like that's kind of a thing that I was just like really like surprised about and I wanted to like deep dive into more. And I did a little bit with my music and like it's like if I'm already, you know, we're all doomed to go one day, you know what I mean? It's, I don't think doomed, but you know what I mean? It's like if I'm gone at some point in the future. That means at this point in time, yeah, I'm around, but I'm also not. You know what I mean? Because it's time is relative. It's just like what we're seeing right now, like watching time unfold. But it's like unfold is the perfect word. Yeah. Because, because like, I mean, kind of the attitude that I have when you know I meditate and stuff is to be aware that I'm aware. Like mm-hmm. it's it's like you take your ability to focus and perceive, and this takes practice. Like I'm not necessarily the best at it. But no, like, you perceive. Like you'll be focused on certain things, like on the outside then there'll be a point. There's, I think there's a point where a lot of people who experience this throughout their day will they'll just be aware that they're aware. And that for them is like the the like the, the lucid switch. moment or maybe yeah. they'll start questioning something like, oh, why don't I? Yeah, so I a little bit aware. more on an existential level of <laughs> things. Yeah, where you're process. like, you actually like, you know. And then, but once you do that though, that's where the unfolding happens though. Because once you become aware that you're aware of all the energy and all, at least when you start to get into these heightened states of awareness, mm-hmm. this is where really the flow and the the genius, the the innate intelligence that's within you starts to really shine. power through yeah. and shine through. Yeah, hundred so, percent. And I know like a lot of people struggle with even like finding their purpose. Like, you know what I mean? Like having that thing that they can feel that heightened sense of awareness or like connection and purpose to. You know what I mean? But like, I don't know. I've been trying to just like find that in the day you know what i mean like in the trees around the buildings and like you know what i mean it's obviously a little bit of a romantic side of things but i always try to check it with a sense of like this is just un- like unbelievably real you know what i mean and it's like yeah. strange but like that gives me the like confidence to like move and do what i feel is right i just what i'm supposed to do or what i have to do or what i need to do like what genuinely is gonna bring me and the people around me uh, a better outcome, and you know I'm, you know, I'm, I make mistakes. I don't, I don't do that all the time. I'm not the most forward and direct person you can meet, I guess. But I 
but just trying to help that like side of things and conceptual nature like streamlined and be able to just say what I know, say it with full conviction and leave it there for anyone to like take. Yeah. If you if you want to question that and you don't agree with something, it's cool. Like I love throwing back and forth, you know what I mean? But it's like especially when it comes to like love or like with like just relationships with people, like you have to just Trust that you are like, I always say, just the person who's going to show up at the end of the day is for you. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to be. It's a lot of romantic sense or time, but. Both. Like, anything. It's like, you're you're just going to be with yourself at the end of the day. You know what I mean? Like, it's going to be all you. Like, you know, you could have been doing that the whole time, but it probably wasn't the best move. You know what I mean? Or, like, you could step outside. Not go do, you know what I mean, and just give to different things, which I've been guilty of in the past. But it's like it's just when you just know that, like, not not overthinking like all the crazy things that you could think about on the daily, and just focus on like the little things that you can do on the daily, and for the people that you love or like care about. Even just like uh, one of my homies was just telling you, like, that, like any day you could literally just choose any number of people in your contact list and just say, hey. Hi, hope you're doing good. Love. You know what I mean? Like how how helpful that could be to someone, you have no idea. You know what I mean? Like it's just like realizing that it's not all about you. You're gonna be with yourself, but like knowing that you did what you need for yourself to be able to do what you need for others is gonna bring you a lot more happiness. And like when you come to sit with yourself at the end of the day, find yourself lost in thought somewhere you know what i mean just a little bit of a grounding that's been helping me yes um yeah, yeah. So, so you're pulling yourself more it seems like you're trying to get yourself more grounded and you're pulling yourself more into more of the simpler things mm-hmm. and like intending to do at least some good gestures for people and things like that like yeah. that's what it seems like you're saying um everyone doesn't want to be a dick you know what i mean and some people some people are cool totally cool being a dick you know what i mean yeah everyone's an asshole sorry I guess. Sometimes and stuff, but you know, I, I don't know. I'm, I guess I'm an optimist when I say I believe in the best in people. But again, you got to trust yourself to be able to see you how you're doing and everyone else around you. Because it's like, if you're always questioning what's real, like like what what you could be doing or what you're doing is it all right? You know, what I mean, you're you're just you're just preventing yourself from doing. You know what I mean? It's just extra steps. And yeah. like, as soon as you realize that, it's kind of like, it's easier to like process and accept what you've been doing and what you continue to do. You know, and help you to, to discern where you need to like place in love in your life or find love or like where you need to be able to dedicate yourself to rather than just material <laughs> on the expanding your mind i guess you know what i mean just being able to not be so self-centered on the in general now i might be a little bit of a, a cynic when it comes to that try not to look inside of me a little too much everyone has a yeah everyone's, a, everyone's out to get me mm, you know what i mean i gotta get ahead get this I, job you know it's like those are legit i mean if you want to talk about living in a matrix like that's really what put into people's heads since they're through tv through certain things and all it is just a virus that gets passed down to other people so <laughs> but um, um oh, it's like yeah it's just people feel too programmed yeah i feel too programmed sometimes you know what i mean it's like it's just i don't know the best thing that's been helping me with that lately is just Knowing just time is valuable as it can come. You, you got 88,000 seconds in a day. You could choose to not spend that. Mm-hmm. But you don't know if you're going to get that tomorrow. You might have to spend all of it the best way you can, right? Yeah. Just freaking, yeah, like have a good time with it. You know what I mean? Like, like obviously, like, you got to do whatever you got to do, hopefully, first. But yeah. And, uh, so we're going to close out here, but before we do, I'll say if you're feeling it, 
maybe do like a without a beat. You would do like a little quick freestyle. Okay. I can feel it. I could I could uh I could I could say some spoken word right quick, I guess. Yeah. Um I don't know. Give me give me a couple topics or whatever. We'll just make it like something like that. Awareness. Awareness. Okay. Give me like a uh thing. Thing? Yeah. Um maybe a, a noun. Person, place, thing. People. Okay. Um okay. I find that I'm more aware every second that passes. I find that my soul is bare when the car crashes. I see an angel floating above me and she asks this, what's it take to make a man or a woman and pass this? Cause I got a boulder on my shoulder and a dutch that I'm rolling. Got too much the motor roller to keep my motor well, to go in, uh, I dip in fast, I come back quicker, but sometimes it reminds me I don't need the fisker. A couple of seconds, a couple more whiskers to pull on. I'm all on my shit too much. I need to brew on what to say, what to do, what to make, how to move. But I already did that. I already broke the rules. That segment is over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's leave Not it there. Put you on the spot. Hey, hey. Pass the test right there. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, no, I, I, I mean, before you say that, I just wanted to like thank you. I'm just like, thanks for the opportunity. Get to think a little bit, talk to you, catch up, like I yeah. said, but it's, it's a. Wanted to be more of a conversation, bro. You know what I mean? Instead of like talking about whatever, you know, maybe creep, creep my head. It's, like, it's good. To, it's good to know there's some real homies out there, and we all we all push some love. Of course. So. Well, uh, thank you for coming on. But uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, last question though, where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram uh, and. SoundCloud right now, the Apple Music, Spotify will be coming soon enough. Uh, at no one, nobody. Uh, for I know for Instagram and SoundCloud, it's no dot one dot uh, number one, number one, or it's basically uh, like a number one nobody or no one is no. One. You know okay. what I mean? So, uh, I'll link it in the description. So. Yeah, I'll link it in the description. I'll maybe read it right here or something. But uh, yeah, nobody. That's where we're going with right now. All right. Well, once again, thank you for coming on.